Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 56202 Class Bravo. Year 2015. State Kentucky. Observed. It was opening day of modern gun deer season in Logan County, Kentucky, November 14, 2015. My husband took me to my deer stand at the edge of the hayfield. There was no moon and I couldn't see much of anything in front of me. I waited until he left in the old jeep and continued to wait for approximately 10 to 15 minutes before I turned on the red bill light on my cap to load my gun. I loaded three shells into my 243, then turned off my bill light. Within a minute, I hear a rustle on the ground to my left and slowly turn my head in the direction of the sound. I saw two red lights like eyes approximately 30 feet away, and I judged the red lights to be 8 to 10 feet off the ground. I thought for a second that I was seeing spots before my eyes from my red bill light. I rubbed my eyes and blinked a couple of times, thinking I needed to clear my eyes. The lights were steady for a few seconds, then blinked twice, like I had done. I was wondering what was going on, thinking another hunter had walked up to my stand. Then I heard loud movement in the leaves, as if it were moving up to the old road, approximately 50 yards away. I could not make out a shape, but as it neared what I considered close to the old road, it stopped and started a low woo sound that increased to a very loud whoop. Then I was scared. I have hunted for many years, and I have never heard an animal make that sound. I clicked the safety off my gun, but by that time, I could hear it making its way along the old road ridge heading toward our cattle barn. Also noticed, after my husband left me at my stand, he drove to our cattle barn, approximately one-fourth of a mile, where he left the jeep and walked to his stand toward the bottom next to the river. He was afraid that he would have trouble finding the stand and turned on his red light. He saw red lights that he thought was stand indicators, but as he neared the stand, he saw the lights blink and heard something move away. Neither of us knew what the other had experienced until we came back to the cabin about noon. He said, well, I think I had a Bigfoot encounter. I said, let me tell you about mine. Time and conditions, 4.30 a.m., no moon, complete darkness, weather was cold and clear. Environment in a wooded area next to an open hay field. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Jim Wigginton. Talk to Jean via phone, and she seems to be a very sincere and honest individual. That was not sure what was going on that morning. Her husband left her at the tree stand, then drove further on down. She then climbed up to the tree stand and switched on her red light to load her rifle. Then, after turning off the light, she heard a rustle in the leaves 30 feet away and noticed two red lights about 8 to 10 feet off the ground. She then blinked tw twice, and the red eyes then blinked twice. This was a shock to her. Then she took off the rifle's safety after hearing a low whoop that became a very loud whoop. It then started to walk down an old road away from her towards her husband's stand. That month, while mending a fence, rocks were thrown at her until she threw rocks back and said, I know you're there. Another time in November, she saw a large bipedal figure walk over a ridge in the pasture field some distance away. The color difference from their cows attracted her to it. This area is about three miles from where I had my encounter on the same creek, but mine was in August of 2014. Her husband noticed red eye glow that blinked twice while at his tree stand some distance away. She said the animal would have had time to get to her husband's stand by going over the ridge, but wasn't sure it was the same one.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.